Well, this news comes as students in the Seminole County School District head back to school today. They're the first in Central Florida to bring kids back into classrooms for in-person education as well as distance learning. News 6's Lauren Cervantes is following the first day of school for those kids. She joins us live in Seminole County. And Lauren, you had the chance to speak with families who sent their kids back to school in person today. I did. I spoke with a number of families and let me tell you, it was a rainy end to the first day of school. One of the families I talked with tells me they live very close. They were planning on walking to pick up their daughter, ended up opting to pick her up in the car because of how heavy the rain was right at the release time. Um, but I spoke with another family earlier today who tells me their daughter started kindergarten in Seminole County Public Schools and they say it was an emotional start to the day, first day of school. It was hard for us because we didn't get to walk her into the school, so um, just the drop off car line. Uh, but we got to watch her walk in and she seemed very excited. Sharon and Richard Alpazar dropped their five year old Scarlett off for her first day of school. Their daughter is in the Seminole County Public Schools District, where 44% of kids were heading back for face to face learning. So today was her first day of kindergarten uh, at face to face at Wilson Elementary. Both mom and dad say Seminole County Public Schools did a great job at preparing. There's even little lanyards for the kids to uh, attach to their masks. At a meet the teacher event last Thursday, they say they were able to see what face to face learning would look like with COVID-19. Alpazar says the desks were set up for the first day of school, which has a divider between there's uh, one student I'm sorry, two students will share a desk and there's a divider between them. And so we got to pick out the desk. Meanwhile, SCPS says 46% of students started the year at home learning virtually. The district tells News 6 Seminole Connect is going well and that they are not aware of any connectivity issues. School officials say there may have been some kinks throughout the day, but tell us no major issues. Now coming up at five, I spoke with an adorable first grader. She and her parents, they tell me how the first day of school went and how it was reconnecting with fam or friends rather and teachers in the school that they hadn't seen in five months. Because if you remember in the springtime, obviously everyone was doing distance learning. So I will have that coming up at five. For now in Seminole County, I'm Lauren Cervantes getting results. News 6 back to you in the studio. Lauren, thank you.